like to introduce our state director from Florida, Andres Trujillo, and he has a very special guest he'd like us to, to meet and hear from. Good morning, everyone. Well, crowd thinned out from yesterday's lunch. Uh, folks, sometimes we start out with a cup of coffee with a gentleman that's running for office for the first time. We have a conversation and you strike a friendship and you work on their campaign not only help them with money, help them going out canvassing, going out on early election days, uh, get to meet his dad that's canvassing alongside with you, get to meet his wife, part of the team. And that's what happens when you start out in this kind of public office running. And you strike the kind of friendships and the kind of trust that engenders a uh, long time, hopefully lifetime relationships that also represent your interest when we come in and speak before them and talk to them about the issues that matter to you. And one of those folks is here today with us to address us is State Senator Jose Javier Rodriguez. Welcome. Good morning and thank you, Andres. Um, a, I share your sentiment in terms of uh, all the hard work uh, in terms of our election battles and our friendship and work in Tallahassee. Uh, but good morning, everybody. All right, good. Uh, I gather you've already had some coffee, so it's probably a good thing. Uh, so I'm Jose Javier Rodriguez. Uh, in addition to being a state senator, uh, like Mr. Brodar, I'm a labor and employment attorney. So my clients as a lawyer are unions, pension funds, employees, and I also teach uh, constitutional law at a local uh, a law school here. Uh, but as a state senator, uh, I'm here mainly to say thank you. Uh, thank you for staying active in your union, uh, staying informed, for volunteering, for voting. Uh, and as a state legislator, I want to say thank you also for putting the resources behind working people's issues. Mr. Brodar was kind of giving you a sense, uh, which I don't, I don't think anybody has to be told, maybe just sometimes reminded of what we're up against uh, when we're dealing with working people's issues, and particularly in transportation where things are changing uh, all the time. And I know that, you know, Andres has been a big resource and a big help on a lot of the issues that uh, impact, frankly, you and your family's daily lives. The, you know, issues like, uh, you know, I mean, at the state level, we, we don't have the, 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 the Freight Safety Act, but we have a couple different ideas that we've been, you know, have been sort of gathering steam at the local level uh, here in the state of Florida. Uh, other things in terms of uh, safety for uh, bus drivers uh, and those sorts of things. Uh, I wish that there were more we could do in the per current political climate here in Florida uh, to move the needle in terms of the workers' comp system and other things. Uh, but frankly, uh, in the legislature, now, we could talk about the court system is, is a different thing. In the legislature, uh, it's mainly just been holding the line against some of those attacks that, that I heard Mr. Brodar talking about. Um, and, and I, I want to just say uh, one thing in terms of part of how I, how I got here, how I got to be serving in the state senate and, and working with you all. Uh, so I grew up Cuban-American in Miami. And you know I was raised by, you know my dad had a small business and my mom was a nurse. And she uh, retired um, as a member of, uh, of a union. She was a union nurse for uh, most of the times. You know, she, she kind of moved around a lot when I was younger, but she finally kind of found a home uh, at Jackson Memorial Hospital, the big public hospital in Miami, uh, as a bedside nurse for decades. And 
I will tell you that, you know, the idea that you can have a voice in your workplace, the idea that you should be able to retire with dignity, uh, the idea that you should be able to, to, to have a voice and say in what goes on, uh, was, was something that was instilled in me through this whole, through this whole period. And in my time, uh, you know, before elected office as an attorney, a lot of that was as a legal aid lawyer, and we worked on all kinds of working people's issues. And I'll tell you that for me, uh, working on a whole range of issues from, um, you know, c conditions issues to pay issues, uh, at every step, labor was part of the coalition if it wasn't labor uh, organizing and leading the fight. And to me, again, as a state legislator, uh, labor generally, but you guys too, uh, are always looking out for the interests of working people, sometimes when it doesn't directly affect your members. And for that, I'm very grateful because sometimes on those issues in Tallahassee, 500 miles away from here, there's nobody else. There's nobody else holding your back uh, to, to try to move the needle uh, on a lot of those issues. And, you know, a lot of the issues that I'm, I'm describing are not partisan, right? We, we have, you know, great friends on the other side of the aisle. I happen to be a Democrat. Um, but on the other side of the aisle, we, we have great friendships. Uh, but sometimes that's not enough, right? We really need to, to, to change the political culture and political climate. Um, again, which, which, you know, I keep harping on that theme that I heard on the way in. Uh, but in terms of the, those, those billionaire interests uh, that, you know, really seem to drive the conversation in Tallahassee, and for the most part, keeping things off the agenda, uh, that's something that, that we really need to change and we've been working on. So thanks for being part of the movement, uh, staying active and voting. Anything else? Anyway, all right. <laughs> Take care. Thank you for coming. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Can we get a, can we get a photo here? Oh, absolutely.